This episode is brought to you by Anchor FM. If you've ever thought about launching your own podcast or looking for a new host for your current podcast, there's no better way or time than now. Anchor FM is the best podcast host and it's completely free. Not only does Anchor not cost you anything, but you can monetize your podcast from the very start with no minimum listener base. All you got to do is go to anchor.fm to get started or download their free app. You can also record straight from the app and post it. It's got tons of features and functionality in the app where you can add background music and you can add your art for your podcast and all kinds of cool stuff. I highly recommend Anchor FM. So get started today with Anchor.fm. And welcome to another episode of The Loop Bros. Oh, I know, this is very weird. That's being hosted by me, your host, Kawhi. And we also have the man himself, JT, in the house. JT, what is up? Hey, what's up, everybody? Now everybody's probably wondering what's going on here. Well, this episode is being released right after Extra Life, unless, of course, you're a Patreon producer. Or a Patreon subscriber, I should say. But with Extra Life coming up, we are recording early so the teams can get sleep. Because we all know Team Loot needs the sleep to bring the smackdown. That we do. Before we get started, let's go ahead and toast to our Patreon producers. Uh, We have MD Nitro. JT, thank you for being a producer. I also want to toast for you for helping me out with the episode this week. And I want to toast to all the teams participating in Extra Life this week because the real winners are the children. So let's get our housekeeping out of the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. So don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. If you'd like to come join us, go to patreon.com and look up the Loot Bros podcast. Uh, For as little as $1 a month, you can get our extra episodes, which include our deep dives, our Super Loot Bros. If you really want to be in the pain in the ass for $25 a month, you can make one of us play a game. Like Daryl. And hentai games. Ah. we also have a youtube channel where we've been posting our episodes uh we also have our other podcast the 2236 the comic cast and of course mine the drift cast but now that we got that all done let's get into our episode jt what have you been playing this week anything fun um, so at the beginning of the week, I was playing, um, Atelier Ryza, trying to beat that game. But then I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I don't want to put in the 20 hours to grind specific equipment to beat the final boss. I'm just not going to play it anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, I started Alan Wake remastered and I was like, eh, you know, it's not as good as, I mean, it's better than the 360 version, but they really didn't do it justice, in my opinion. Mm, uh, I, pl- I played it on the uh, PC. I just played the normal version. What's yeah, different? I played between- it on the Epic. They're, they, they did graphical enhancements, but the thing is, is that it still doesn't look as good as other remasters that have been done for other video games, which I find a bit awkward in ways. Um, But other than that, I've also been playing Mass Effect 2. 
And uh, I started Final Fantasy X on the PlayStation 4 through my PlayStation 5. And then I also... Those are both fantastic games, by the way. Love them. Yes, yes. Final Fantasy X is great. Mass Effect 2, epic. Um, I had already platinum these games, but I decided I'm going to go for them again on the PS4. Um, I platinum them on the PS3. And, uh, then I also decided, uh, I'm going to play some Forza Horizon 3. I think, like, the next two months are clearly Xbox months because, um, of the release patterns. I was going to say, just let me ask you a quick question there. Now, you're saying Horizon 3? Forza Horizon 3. Three, yeah, yeah. Not five. It's not out yet. It's out next week. Yeah, it's out on November 9th. Yeah, that's next week. Yeah. So like you're not starting that game? I'm gonna I'm gonna complete I'm not I'm probably not gonna start it for a while. I just wanted to get in the Xbox groove. Okay. And I own Forza Horizon three and four. I like to complete my games in order. I just recently beat Forza Horizon 3, so eventually I would like to 100% it. It's actually not that difficult, just time-consuming. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. And I'm installing Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, and I already have 3 installed, so it's like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot to do. I know. I have. I bought them all on PlayStation Four, <laughs> and I don't know if I should like go back to them and replay them, or if I should just like get them for a different system. Well, just Wait. play. What I mean, do you want to blow the money? Because that's be my like problem. Me. Yeah, you could be like me, and you could be an idiot, and you could buy them for both Xbox and PlayStation. Or you can do the smart thing and play it on the one you own. Because I own them on both PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So it's like, I'm I'm a fool. (laughs) Or I just really love the games and I want to support a company that's the equivalent of Satan. (laughs) That's... That's true. Linux. Disney. Combined. Not a good mix. <laughs> They're both terrible companies. Yeah, that's, that's about all I've been playing, which is a... That's all right. Uh, I actually downloaded a game called Rogue Book. So, unfortunately, I'm going to be having to have a procedure done on my arm because I have a partially torn ligament in my right arm, which yep. I won't be I won't be able to play video games. So, of course, I can't do that. So, now I'm trying to find one-handed video games. Oh, man. Yeah. That one-handed touchscreen type of video games, yeah. Yeah. So, I've been Oh, playing... by the way, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm planning on buying Metro Dread. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I am planning on buying Metroid Dread. I'm going to do that this week. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, So I've been playing Rogue Book. Have you ever played Slay the Spire? I've heard of it. I haven't played it, though. Okay. What what genre is it? It is a roguelike card game. Oh, I, I do know this. Yeah, no, I, I, I the moment you said roguelike card game, I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've never and played it. It's a lot of fun. It's from Richard Garfield, who is the maker of Magic. Uh, huh. I thought it would be a perfect game. Because I, I like the card game stuff. I, I think I, I find it, like, very, very fun. Yeah. So. Addicting. Uh, yeah, exactly. I've been playing a little bit more of um, uh, Bravely Default 2, because I've been really enjoying that game. How is that? 
It's really good. Uh, it's a little bit harder when it comes to like the characters, but have you played the original Bravely Default? No, I didn't have a 3DS, or, or I didn't like at the time have a 3DS. Oh, that's all right. You don't need to play the original. Play this one. So in the game, every one of these Bravely Default games has like an a system built into it that you know kind of happens when you're not playing the game so one of the systems in the older one was you had to build the moon so you would build up the moon colony by building houses and then the little characters like the villagers would go out and do stuff and then they would give you stuff and thanks health pots well for the new one their system is a ship when your switch is in standby mode the the ship goes out does a whole bunch of like little battles or little scenarios comes back and then you can go and like pick up items and you know like these items include jp orbs to increase your job points because you know the job the job system job correct? system yeah 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 i played like i played tactics i played the i think it was like final fantasy what four stuff like that like that 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 really emphasize the job system. Correct. So that way you can use these orbs to increase your job points so you can increase your you can max out your jobs faster because you can mix and match your job strategies and you know build your character the way you want. Hmm. Well I also got a large XP and I was like, oh this is really nice. I can increase increase my character's level. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do that on my my healer because the healers always die yeah and, they're they're weak they're they're, they're, right. they're not even glass cannons they're they don't really do all that much damage all, all they do is they heal and then they they get hit by a boss attack and they die exactly and the way this game works is the barely default system works is that because of those job systems, you can max out your healer's job points, then trade her into a different job and give her healing as backup spells. So you don't necessarily need a full part of healers. You just need, you know, like everybody to have a secondary ability to, to be able to heal. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to hopefully go from 10 to 11. I went from level 10 to level 19. <laughs> so Man. now... My party's Man. overpowered. I'm like healing everybody back to full health in one shot, JT. Oh no, that, that, that's that's when you know you grinded too much, or or rather you accidentally grinded too little because you got boosts. Yeah, so now I have to like go back and level all my other characters. Ah, uh, but besides that, I really haven't been playing much because uh, I don't want to start any new games with this procedure coming up because if I start anything I'll have to go back and restart again yeah you know especially I mean? if it's story based and you want to and you, you come back to it and you're like what happened again exactly it's going to be exactly. confusing it can be so uh, we are going to go to our questions now. Uh, normally we would do um, the uh, the PlayStation and the Xbox leaderboards, but I don't currently have those. So that will return next week because those guys have those links. I do not. But we are going to do the backlog beatdown, guys. So that will be coming. But first, let's do questions. So we only got two questions this week. JT, but the first one's very important. Daryl okay. asks, how bad will Team Loot destroy Team Trophy Skanks in the war? We will destroy them. We will have the Penetrator Bat ready, and we will, it'll be the most veiniest, most longest, most hardest thing, and we're going to shove it up their bunghole, and we're going to be like, yeah, we're winning! <laughs> Saints Row style. Uh, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna win this shit. 
I know, right? Just, I, I just like... imagine, like after this, we lose horribly, and then I, and then like the podcast comes out, and I'm like, oh, I'm regretting my words. <laughs> Gotta grip my teeth. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping you guys win. I'll be, I'll be coming in and out of the streams uh, to help you all. Will you be streaming? No. Not not a good enough connection. I mean, really? it's not it's not really a connection issue. It's more of I don't want to stream right now. Okay, no, that's because the upload is fine, so I can stream. But like, and I have a good ping. I have a good latency ping. You know, like, I get twenty eight ping, which is really good for like New York, the East Coast, Northeast Coast. So it's like I I'm, I'm I think I'm good to stream actually I, i'm just not really into streaming right now oh that's all right we'll, we'll probably be on the discord oh yeah for sure I, I, I wouldn't mind being on a voice chat all goddamn day just to keep myself awake yeah so we'll, we'll have the discord going and I'll, I'll just stop it i'll absolutely stop in i'm gonna like try to stay because you know it's not 24 hours it's 25 hours of streaming yeah because of, of the of the daylight saving yep shenanigans. now do you have a uh are you actually participating in, in extra life or are you just have helping the uh we're out yeah, i'm just helping them and whatever they get out of it i'd like to say i did my part and that's that. Definitely. Okay, the next question comes from Matthew Mulladin. How do you decide on what games to play next so that you don't get fatigued with a genre or gameplay? Which is a fantastic question for you, JT. Oh, boy. Because I, I want to know. <laughs> All right, so currently I am, I am not... So, I have been negating points like crazy in the backlog beatdown. And do you want to know why that is? It's because I don't know what to play. There's too much coming out. But typically, I, I, I like to um, pick a game based off of um, the, the genres I like. So, I'll, I'll pick a, an RPG, a uh, third-person action-adventure game, a platformer of some kind um how there there are a few first person shooters that i like too so i, I pick one of those and, and I, you know it, it's not so much about picking it's if it resonates with me i'm gonna continue if it doesn't i'm gonna ditch it yeah i have the same problem but if it resonates thing. and i play it i'm probably going to want to attempt a 100% post definitely. Yeah, I was going to say, I have the exact same thing. I, you know, I'll start a game and I'll be like, this is really cool, and then I'll get stuck and I'll be like, okay, I'm moving on. So, it's like really hard. It's You just kind of hope that the game grips you. The medium really gripped me, so I played that straight through. Uh, you know, I know there's series like the Man of Medin series. I love that series, so I'll I'll play the hell. I'll probably help play a lot of that this weekend. Yeah, but I wanted to start the first game. It's on Game Pass, right? I think it is. I think it still is on take Game that, Pass. They didn't take that off. No, but I will play with you if you want me to. That'd be cool. Probably or we can play time up for that. We uh, or we could play on PC. If you um, want, is it? PC Game Pass? No, Steam. It has a feature, Steam, where I can like give you a pass to play the game with me for free. I'd rather go to the place that I have it currently and get the achievements off of it. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. I just figured I'd let you know. Yeah, um, I, 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 I like to get... I, I don't know. Something about like achievements, trophies, and all that, that just it gets me hook, line, sinker. It's really hard for me to play a Nintendo game. Uh, but 
Uh, I, I, I'm going to give Metroid a try. The new Metroid Dread a try. That's awesome. Okay. We only had two questions, and there's only two of us, so that was perfect. <laughs> All right. So we have to talk about the backlog beatdown. So this is actually going to be our topic of the show. We are getting into November. So we are about to we're about to wind down on our favorite contest that everybody seems to love. So let's go to the videotape and let's look at the stats. So I know they oh, haven't been boy. updated. <laughs> I know they haven't been updated in a bit, because if I'm not on, they're not they're not updating it. Yeah, yeah. So Redbeard Rick has fifty four. And I think he's going to be our winner. We'll see. Unless Tricky Meg gets those 100 games points that he's telling me about, which I believe will be visual novels of some kind. 20-minute visual novels. Yes. Tricky is at 36. Gareth is at 29. Joseph Priestley is at 29. Daryl's at 24. Jared's at 24. Matthew Malden is at 24. I'm at 13, which I feel very proud of. Yay. Do better than me. It's all right. CJ is at 8. He took a lot of minuses. So is Matt spelled backwards. Spider Pax is at 6. Let's see. I'm trying to just go through here. JT, you're currently at two. Yep. I love your stats, though. You've called 41 games. You've abandoned 23 of them. You beat 13. I, I did. I, I'm, I'm proud of it. Uh, everybody else isn't kind of worth mentioning because they pretty much stopped playing. Except Zach, who currently is supposed to give us a new list and never will. <laughs> so don't mention him. <laughs> so this year we did something different. We decided to run the contest of five games per shot. Of course, you can call more. And you needed to beat those games on that list. You know, everybody got upset with some of our rules. People didn't understand our rules, which I, I guess I get. But next year... We're going to be running the contest a little differently. How differently? Well, I don't know that. So JT and I are going to hit, sit here and discuss what we think should be the rules for the next Backlog Beatdown. And I'm going to get JT, who has been fantastic, you know, supporting us from the background and making sure I'm always dotting my eyes. If you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> And figure out what we should do next. So let me ask you this, JT. What do you think of our current game and how we changed it up from last year to this year? So I think the list is a good idea. The problem is that it doesn't seem like the community wants to do it. <laughs> it's the problem. Like so many people are stuck on a number and they're like, I just don't want to play anymore because I don't want to take a negative. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, um, I don't know, um, that kind of backfires the event when people don't want to play anymore because of that. So, although I think that's a great idea, I think, um, I mean, personally, I would like to keep it, but Really? For the for the sake of the community, I think uh, you you ditch it. Wow, that that's some high compliments right there. You're saying you want to keep it. Well, I don't particularly mind it, to be honest. Um, and I don't think the winner, the the person who's winning now, minds it either. Like I think he 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 doesn't. I think he. He can agree with me that um, it's fine, Redbeard Rick. Um, I mean, he's winning and he's taking all these negatives too. Yep. So he's a prime example of what you're supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he uh, took a lot. Of, he took a lot of negatives because he didn't realize how the contest worked at first. That seems to be our biggest problem is our clarity of the rules. So I will try to make them more clear this time. Um, I think what you should do is is you should have a minimum beat time. Sort of like be legit, but a lot less. Like you should have it at five hours. And uh, the reason why I say this is because it completely removes all trash. And you won't have an issue like me from the first year. <laughs> right? I know who you tried to tank my contest a few times when all I wanted to do was have fun, JT. I, I literally, just to try to prove a point, would just grab... 75 red alike games and I just platinum them and uh, I, I, I want to make a point that you shouldn't have them on a even a fun event like this because they're pretty much like tumors ready to explode see I don't look at them as tumors a lot of those games wouldn't have been brought to the light of day without those without the Rattalaka sticking trophies on them, and it's a sin because these are small companies literally trying to get their game out. And this one publisher is porting them exactly in this way. Yep. Yeah. And uh, the the thing is, is that it's not just Rattalaka now. There's Zitalon. There's all these visual novels that aren't even made by Rattalaka. Rattalaka has a few, but like. Like uh, they're uh, and they're games that you get like that you beat, you don't even have to beat. They're like ten minutes to platinum, and then like the visual novels, you just beat them in like five five seconds because you just skip everywhere and you get like a thirty three second platinum. You know, uh, a little secret about me, I like the 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 visual novels because I actually read them. Oh, that's that's good and all, but. Um, someone like Tricky isn't going to read them. He's going to skip the shit out of them. Uh, but, and, and I also, like, I, I read, uh, Doki Doki, right? Like, that, 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 that really suspense-looking one, uh, the weird one. Yeah, I, I read that one. That one was a read. Uh, but, and I have a, I wanted to get that new one from, uh, Game Pass that that recently got added. I don't remember what it's called, but it, that one looks good, to, like a good read. But in general, I think you remove those, and the way you remove them is by saying five hour minimum. Five hour minimum, not like four hour or three hour. You could go to as low as three hours. I mean, as long as you're as the game doesn't take like, um. As long as it doesn't take, like, less than an hour to get everything done, you know, I, th I, I, I personally don't have a problem with, with it being even two hours. Interesting. As long as it's above an hour. Five hours was just, like, a guideline that I, I, I would recommend. I, I'm, if it's above an hour, I'm probably going to be for it. But what if they come out with I am May of three? It's not allowed. Why, why would you allow that? Because like, yeah. it's I am Mayo. It's such a great. It's, like, it's the God meme. I love that. Like I, I will play that game and put it on my list just for the memes. <laughs> just so people can look and say, he's a true whore. <laughs> That's that's Gen One horror bullshit there. Ah, uh, okay. So, currently, the whole point of the backlog beatdown is to stop buying games and play the games you have because I buy a lot of freaking games. Yep. Now, oh, you should bring back the negatives for um. If you're, it, I do think you should um bring back negatives for buying games. Well, wait, we haven't gotten there yet. All right, sorry. All right. So I was actually leading to a question for you for this one. So here's my question to you. 
Okay. Should we um should we still keep with um should we allow any game on the list or should we still like exclude the new exclusive the new games coming out in 2022? You exclude those cuz they're not I don't really consider them they're they're like new fresh off the bat. Um I mean once they come in, yeah, they're 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 your backlog, right? But the thing is is that the whole goal is to not buy games. I mean, if you if you want to to allow those, then I would say you buy if you buy a game that comes out in 2020 Two, for the sake of next year, you have to take a necklace. So, because Joe wants me to include every other every game, and doesn't want me to have the negative. He wants. Why? Make- what? Why don't you? Why don't people want the negatives? Because the thing is, is that you need. If 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 the point is to not buy games then you want repercussions for buying games well true but that was the first iteration of the game and every year we update what we do so the question is is do we actually do should we run something more like the um levi's contest where we allow anything well that's not really a backlog contest that's something different correct so do you just want to ditch the name and and uh, call it the Loop Rose Gaming Pananza or something like that? Like uh, I, I'm just I'm just spitting like random names. But, like, no, I like I, I like that. I like that. Like, like something it's... different than the backlog beatdown because it's not going to really be a backlog beatdown in that sense. I know, and that's what I'm trying to figure out, is should we continue with the backlog beatdown, or should we come up with something new? Ooh, you know, I, I, w- I would enjoy if you did something like the Be Legit, and just, but, um, we're more, like, we're more lax with the time. Mm-hmm. Like, just have everything but anything that's less than an hour. Anything. So you should make it two hour games and above. Yeah. Yep. That would Pretty that would much. definitely be interesting. And, and the reason why I say that is because again, you know, it's to counter the trash. Because if you're gonna do this, then all that. Yep. It, you want to avoid people getting points for easy platinums or getting two points for an easy beat and a platinum like that you want them to put some work into it a good example of a game that's like this is what remains of edith finch you have to put time and effort you have to beat the game it takes two to four hours to 100 percent the game Mm -hmm. and it's a great game yeah, that's why I don't necessarily like uh, what, I mean, not that Levi doesn't have a good contest, but I don't know if I necessarily like that whole, like, it has to be, like, X amount of hours because... Alright, so we can get on with that because, like, the thing is, is that, listen, when the person who's in second place, oh, tricky, uh, has about, like, 75% of a uh, his points are in games that are five hours and le- or less. So they're pretty much all exceptions. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm beginning to think in a way that you kind of do have to go lower because a, ma- a majority of you want to be able to include a majority of games. But the problem with Levi's event right now is that he he, he has it at seven hours. But if he was just going to allow all these games that take like two to five hours, you should have just put it at two to five hours. You shouldn't have. So a lot of people are leaving his event. Like Corey left. He was winning. 
Um, and I don't know why he would leave if he was winning, but he left. Uh, CJ left. He was like in he like it, the original top three was Levi, CJ, and uh, and Rebby Rick. Um, but and that but now it's Rebby Rick, Tricky, and me. And the thing is, is that when you allow too many exceptions the event gets stale mm, and he I, has done yeah. that and when you see someone at the top with like over half of his points are in those games you begin to wonder is it really be legit or is it like exception mania mm-hmm so you know, I, 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 way, I think. By the way, not to interrupt you, I just want to say right now, your dog's barking in the background. And my cat's meowing in the background. So this is fantastic <laughs> radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, he, I, oh my God. I don't know. I guess my mic is better than I thought. Um, it's all right. It's all right. You know. uh, so. I do think that having it at more than an hour is a good way to include those indie games that wouldn't be included if you were to go higher. Oh, I like what you're thinking. Uh, I see it now. Because there's a lot of good indie games. There's a lot of good indie games that don't really get the day of light. And uh, I'm not talking about like. Because Ratlika is indie, um, in a way, and uh, so is Zidalon, so is all these other easy peasy stuff. They're 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 all indie stuff, but like there's like actual great indie stuff out there. If you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, by his own definition, the Man of Medan games do not count for his be legit. Yeah, but he, he, um, I don't know, I don't remember if those have exceptions. Did, did he say? I don't think No, he he's did. not accepting them. Meanwhile, he's accepting every retro game that literally you can do a wall skip and it would take 10 minutes to beat that game. Mm-hmm. Because you know how those uh, speed through players abuse glitches and whatnot. It's an easy YouTube search, and then you beat the game. Like he's allowing those. Like yeah. and I'm trying to stop it. Like I, every single time, I vote no. <laughs> <laughs> I vote. I vote no. But after a while, you just have to say yes because everybody else is going to say yes. So you might as well just say yes, right? Yet one game that got through, and I was like, wow, you just let a Rattalaka game through. And <laughs> he was like, wait, what? Yep, Devious Dungeons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it is one of the better ones, and it is one of the longer ones, but it's still trophy trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you think we should keep the minus one for buying games? Only if you're going to include... Only if you're going to basically make it BLB. If you're going to make a new event, no. Just just keep it to everything, and everything counts, and uh, there is no negatives. There's no repercussions. There's no lists. There's none of that. You just play what you want. All right, and now here's another very interesting question for you, especially okay. for the way you like to play games. So this is very important. If I did a whole new contest and we're trying to play the games, should we include uh, trophy 100%ing like I've been doing as a plus one? As a second point? Yeah, yeah. If they put in the work by some. Why not? Joe thinks we should eliminate that. Well, Joe is stupid. <laughs> Because to me, I know a lot of our 
a lot of our um the reason why joe wants to eliminate that is because he sees a visual novel and he's like i i don't want someone like tricky or jt or cj to come out with like all these platinums and all that stuff the whole point of getting a minimum of one of more than an hour is so that the platinums don't don't ruin it because most of these games that are are that take about two hours to beat they're they're five to ten hour completions Mm -hmm. so they're not like brow like a game so i've eliminated his fear interesting okay so he can't even back it up i pretty much eliminated his trophy horror fear I think that if you want, if you put the time in to 100% a game, and if he really wants to go there, he could, we could make a minimum time for 100%, and that would be 10 hours. And you would simply just use how long, uh, you, you'd either use PlayStationTrophies.org or Xbox achievements.org and if it's not on there you go to how long to be so interesting you just put a minimum on that too and it would just be uh five to ten hours i never thought about that that's actually a really good idea i actually really like that that would also alleviate joe's problem Ooh, i like this Though, if I do this, I might have to have you as backup to tell me when something's not five to ten hours. Just have me just have me on the council. Ooh. Ooh, should we put people, should we put him on the council? Ooh. I told Jared, like, I clarified rules for Jared. I've been clarifying rules from the beginning. In the Discord. <laughs> I know. People... I should have been in the council from the very beginning. I, I, I made everything so clear and picture perfect for you guys. And I, I get nothing for it, but I do it. And you know what? And the funny part was is people were like so mad when they were like, wait, what do you mean? We can't, we can do more than, uh, we can do more than like five. It says, you said it has to be five. I said I never said it had to be five. I said you pick five games. Yeah, and, and it all spurred with with uh, me doing it because I saw someone else do it, and I ended up taking like a, a negative like uh, fifteen anyways. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, when, when we originally made when we originally made this um when we originally made the contest. Daryl was like, we should do 10 games. Make everybody put 10 games. I was like, whoa, t- 10's way too much. Yeah, it, it's a lot. I, I shouldn't have made that list. You could say that that list was the nail in the coffin for me. Exactly. And you're like, oh, yeah, I can make all this. And I'm like, oh, okay, dude, have fun. And you're like, I I'm, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I did. And the thing is, is that I never fought. Like, Daryl said that I fought him on that. I, I never fought him on that what i did was i was literally telling them the rules and daryl thought i was trying to persecute him or something no i'm just telling jared i'm telling uh red beer rick the rules i'm telling them what you guys say i'm clarifying it all so here's the next question for you I had it and I lost it. Oh god, it will come back. <laughs> uh Wow. Okay. All right, so we got minimum 1 hour to pl- to beat the game. Minimum 5 hours to platinum the game. Yeah, I guess. Which I like. Uh Do you want to add DLC? Uh, I'm going to say no to that, by the okay. way. Because All right, no I, I want to reduce the need to spend money. Oh, I, ha- I have a question for you. Now, for this contest, should it be any game or only games you've never beaten before? 
That was my question. All right, so the one thing I disliked about this time going around is that I I had to it, it had to be something we had never beaten. And the thing the reason why I didn't like that is because there are to me a game isn't finished and put off your backlog until it's one zero zero. So well, that... I, I was thinking like you do you should allow games to be that have already been beaten on there. Well, but... I do have to admit our first was the 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 uh the same way because if it's a backlog, it's designed for you to beat the games you have never played before. No, no, the backlog is for you to finish games that you have already started or never played. That you own. That's the definition of a backlog. Right. But people like to replay games for the hundredth time for some reason. That's not... But that's not what I mean. What I mean is is that if the guy doesn't have all the trophies but wants to play all play again for the rest of those trophies, give him the point for the platinum. If it's within the minimum, but don't give them a point for beating the game. No, no, I'm all right with that. That I'm definitely all right with. I'm more concerned with like tr- Tricky, who's like, oh, I'm going to play Super Mario Brothers and I'm going to play all these all over again. Don't allow that. If That's it's what clear I'm... that they had already beaten the game and they're just replaying for that that first point that easy point, which is beating the game, um, I don't allow it. Yeah, that was my question. That was yeah, exactly yeah, I'm sorry, I, I misunderstood that. Yeah, don't don't allow it. Um, don't allow it. But if they did beat it and they state that they beat in it and they just want to get the point for the platinum, you should allow that. Okay. So then this is technically a backlog beatdown. Well, yeah, it would be a bad you you it would be a backlog beatdown, but everything is allowed and uh and no negatives. And no negatives, like if if that's what uh, I mean, like I do think um you could have a backlog beatdown like that and just name it something else. Hmm. But would we name it though? I mean, you could you could just name it backlog beat down three But like I I I mean, if you if you wanted to make a whole new event and still have like the backlog beat down flare, you would just. I mean, that's totally up to you. I don't know what to name these things. I just. Do you hear that in the background? I do. That would be my cat sitting on my husband's laptop. And that would be the shift key going yes, off. Yes, it right? would be. Yeah, they, it, it's making the noise, that's for sure. And I'm pretty sure the cat just crashed his laptop. <laughs> I am pretty sure that you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, JT, thank you for doing this week's uh, Loop Bros with me. It's been a pleasure. Anything else you'd like to add before we get out of here? Um, no, I mean, most of most, I, I personally don't have that many complaints with this year, to be honest. Um, but those would be the changes that I would make. And, uh, I, I mean, I, if, if I didn't earn my right to be on the, Backlog beat down like uh, rule, what blah blah blah, whatever council. I don't even know if it's a council. I think I think they're blowing hot air. Like, is it really a council? Like, it's just like two people on a, on the sheets, right? I mean, I for ours or for theirs? For yours. Yeah, ours is well. No, it's there's a couple people. Like, it's a couple of us that we kind of like go back and forth because. 
but once I, the well, rules are set, the rules are set. The thing is with the be legit is is that there's like voting that goes on and all that. And I'm on that council too. Um, but if you if if you guys want, I could volunteer myself to do these to do these uh to help you guys out with that. I mean, I'm. Yeah, it's not maybe. like I'm. It's not like I'm getting any advantage out of it. I'm not trying to get an advantage out of it. I'm literally trying to make make it so that there aren't any advantages. Exactly. I like your I like your ideas. Your ideas are very very interesting, and definitely uh, me. And... Been, I I don't know if I've been typing them out in a because the thing is that sometimes my points don't come get get across. But like I've been typing these these points out to you for like two years now yeah yeah exactly it's it's hard, <laughs> it's hard. i i don't always get my point across so it's, it's easier to do it to say it it's easier to say it than it is to typing it because i've been typing these for two years like i was like you don't want to do this Kalai. you don't know what you're doing you don't know you don't know the floodgates you're opening <laughs> I know, and you tried. You tried to get me the other day on uh, on me adding the on. You're like, oh my god, wait, I can stack different different uh, re, uh, storefronts. You see storefronts, and you're like, you, people. You know how hard people can get away from me? Oh no, no, no! I totally allowed that. That's actually in our in our spreadsheet because my husband Jim does our spreadsheet. And he's a data guy. <laughs> no, I, I I wasn't trying to get one on you. I was saying that you should have people say where they're getting it because i i know and people don't people don't understand people Some... people don't say where they're getting it and then they just come out with the pc and the thing is that that indirectly kind of screws with the stats especially since your husband has the storefront thing on there it does screw with the stats in a way and i know you really love the stats and that's what i was trying to bring up but i don't think i really it's all right. It really came across that way. The stats are for your guys, and you know it's kind of interesting. At the that's your reward. Instead of giving one person a you know like a prize, the winning is is how pure do you want to make your stats at the end of this of these contests? I might because... just I might want to go straight to the negatives. <laughs> and last year our, our joke was we were going to just make the winner whoever has the has the golf score. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I would have been pissed because despite all of those trashy games last year i had a lot of i i like half of them were trash the other half wasn't like i did that intentionally because i wanted to see how many good stuff i would do and, and the moment i the moment i got to like 50 points i stopped doing the trash i stopped counting them i bought it and i never negative points for it i i platinum it i never p positive because i stopped counting them all together yeah it's basically yeah but at the end i can tell you like how many if there's ever stats you want us to track i can build those into the spreadsheet as long as we have them by january 1st it can be built into the spreadsheet you know yeah. when you looked at those it could tell you how many games did you buy for the year that's what those negatives are tracking so if you don't, if people who complain about the negatives, what you're not seeing is that sh that gives you an idea of how much money you're spending on your games. Well, the, this year it's more of what like there are people who stopped playing this year, playing in the event this year. Like they didn't even like they're still on the leaderboard. They just don't play the games because they don't want to take the negative. And I'm like. Yeah. Come on now, look at me. I, I was like negative what? Negative fifteen? I got to the positives. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. What I don't see what the issue is here. Yep. I really don't. I I, I I mean, isn't that one of the points to this? Like if you don't like the game, take a negative. Yeah, it's exactly. It's out of your backlog. Or it's or if you don't want to play it now, you negative it. And you just do it another time. Yeah, I might, I might continue to keep the negatives. It's, it's pain to track because I have nobody else to help me track the spreadsheet. But it's also like, 
it's really cool in the end when people when you're like, oh look, uh, you did uh, you bought all these games. Well, uh, again, it's not so much about buying the games this year. It's more of the people who just like completely just said, nope, I'm retiring this. Yeah. Because we, I, 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 we, we did. You guys did away with that this year, right? The whole like buying. Yeah, we did do away with it because again, people were just buying games. I bought. Look, at, remember how many games I bought? Yeah, you were in the. You, was it? you bought that combo thing that of like all those retro games. It was like what negative thirty three, like three times. Like what was that? Like oh my god! I looked at that. I was like, Clyde, you are crazy. I I looked at um CJ and oh my god! I was like, and then yeah. Levi. I was like, oh man. And then you did it. Then you did it. You actually did it uh, yourself this year. <laughs> the difference is that I spent nothing to do it. Uh, okay, so what? I, 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 do. I think it's a win. <laughs> <laughs> when you could go negative without spending a time. I'm thinking about just going, t- like, building, like, ten lists and negativing them. <laughs> like, just, just a continuous negative string. I don't know if I'm actually going to do that, but yeah. All right. Thank you, JT. Thank you, everybody, for listening. And I'll see you on the next episode of Blue Bros. Bye! People need to know we're living in a war zone. Hit the street with the truth, tell them that it's old.